Welcome back, everybody. We are going to have a fun time doing a little hot dog cartoon, and uh, let's get right into it. So we are going to go nice and slow so you can follow along. I did give you, uh, on my website, jasonsecrets.com, I did give you the anchor point guide so you can follow along, and uh, let's get right into it. The first thing I did is file new, and I did create a 5x5 five five inch format. That's going to be pretty default. I did RGB as well. Everything else is just defaults. Next, let's go file place. And we are looking for the hot dog anchor point. I'm going to hold down shift, alt option. Let's just shrink that down. That looks good. Let's just pull out the layers. And I say we just drop that down to a template. And that's just going to basically lock it out and also do 50% opacity. Let's go new layer. Let's just call that inking. And I'm going to say that's probably all we're going to need for the layers menu for right now. All right. So I just I hid the artboards, but that's just because I think it looks better in the video. There is no other point for it. All right, so we've got our anchor points. I'm going to be using the pen tool, but you guys are more than like, if you guys have a tablet, you're more than welcome to use that and then just basically trace it. So I'm going to do that. And then this one, I haven't made any decisions yet on uh, if we are going to go colored lines or not. I think that's where we're going to go. So we're basically not going to do brush or add on any of the brush work uh, until the end. So we'll basically fly through all of the pen work just so you guys can get... Uh, familiar with the pen tool and then we can go from there okay now whenever we're doing the pen tool I'm gonna literally walk you through each one of these so it looks more complicated than it is so we are just gonna go right along and I am gonna go black arrow and I just want to get rid of the fill I'm gonna pull out my pen menu so you'll hear me really say it, really two different things. I'm going to either be saying pen tool, which is P, or I'm going to say shift C. So that is the convert. So if I want to have this one curved, I'm just going to pull that right on down, and I'm going to be looking for all of our nice little anchors. So I'm still on shift C, by the way. Thumb is done. Click P. So just notice that we are doing straight lines. I'm not doing anything fancy with that. Go back with Shift C. Let's just start down here by the thumb. Whenever you guys are doing Shift C, just kind of be aware of as I'm dragging it out, just keep hanging on to it. And everything will be quite nice for us. Good. Click P. And there by we could probably simplify some of these. But uh, I think for the most part, we'll do quite well with this. Okay. That looks like the handle right there. I'm on my white arrow, by the way. All right. Now, I'm going to pull this one out. Sh Shift C is still. And I can pull that one down. Okay. That one looks okay. And we can always come back and modify this. It's just so we can get things down quick. Go back to Shift C. Right, I think that one was it. Drag it right there. Click P. Shift C. 
Drag it right on down. And I might just plop it over here. Shift C. So you're going to notice that we do have quite a bit of overlapping. Don't freak out about overlapping. We will get rid of that later. All right. I think that one's going to drop down. More than likely, there's the point right here. And then the anchor point is kind of underneath all of our lines. But no biggie. Let's go shift C. That looks like the handle hanging out over here. Okay, one hand is done. Easy peasy. One, two, shift C. So once you kind of get the habit of this, what you should be starting to work on is kind of your pacing of it. Meaning we can kind of pick up the pace a tiny bit, especially once you understand that shift C, we're just dealing with shift C as well as the pen tool. Click P. So my left hand is hanging out on the left hand side of the keyboard just because I'm going to be doing shortcuts all the time. But that also helps speed up the process. Oh, I missed one. That looks good. leave that for right now uh, let's go here let's go here I'm gonna drag it I'm focusing on the bottom one right now there's my next one shift C there we go let's just pull that one here this is gonna round out that j corner right here just do real simple you could totally use the line tool right here too every time I want a new line click P so if they're connecting you're getting some Z's in there all you're looking to do is click P and that will reset your pen tool all right let's do the face all right there is a whole lot going on so we'll just walk you guys through it let's do the nose All right, shift C. Drag that one down. All right, I'm okay with that. Shift C, this is our eyeball. He's basically squinting, this is what we're looking at. Shift C. You can kind of see that anchor right up there. Now I'm going to take this end point. I've got the white arrow right, and I'm just going to shove that in. Now that, we're going to basically come back and peek at it as we're adding on our brushes. All right, let's do some eyebrows. Remember, to reset, click P each time. Let's do the mouth. One, two, I say we're gonna come down here. Maybe let's come up here and here. Let's go shift C. I'll zoom in so you guys can kind of see the idea here. 
So I want this anchor basically to point back. And I've got this guy. So I want to pull that one way over. See this? You might even see it. Hanging out over here. Done. Look at that. Shift C. It's hanging out at the bottom here. Now this little corner is probably going to get covered by the tongue. Go shift C. I say it's these little handles right there. Let's just drag that down. Okay. Down at the bottom and then back up. Let's go shift C. I'm looking at that anchor right here, or that handle. All right. I might come back and revisit that, just so you guys are aware of what I'm thinking. Okay, let's zoom in. I think his teeth are going to be pretty subtle. This will actually be a, some of you guys might know our brushes a little bit. So it'll be all fat to skinny on that one. Go shift C. You might be able to see that anchor right hanging out right here. Let's just tuck that one here. All right, let's go save check. Hot dog. Guess how many high school kids called it wiener, guys. <laughs> uh, high school boys are hilarious. Alrighty, so let's keep it going. Let's do the body, and then we'll basically attack the, uh, the feet. So I'm going to come over here. You guys might be able to see it. I've got a little bit of an eyebrow. We are going to come down. There's one. And the answer is yes. I'm searching for the right ones. Let's go there. And then I can probably come back up to the top. Now, if this isn't exact, no biggie. Let's start there. I'm going to grab that one. Let's pull it up. Good. Shift C. Now notice that there is, he's going to get covered. So this kind of back line, that's going to be where the bun is going to be hanging out. Okay, I want to drag that one up. I'm focusing on the top part for the head right now. And then we're just going to drop that back. Just so you can see what I am doing here. So I want this to be a little bit of a sharper point. White arrow, by the way. Okay. Shift C. Just double checking points here. And if we want to re rearrange it later, and once we kind of get it down, we can totally do that. 
Looks pretty good. All right, good. We're gonna go kind of Z formation here. So this is kind of our mustard uh, mustard tie. And I kind of want this to pop kind of off a little bit. And these are definitely gonna get rounded out, by the way. Okay. Let's try to pull that one out. Good. Now this will get fat, so let's just do that now so you can kind of see what the thought process is. So I'm going to fatten that up. That'll get yellow, by the way. Let's go to our stroke menu. I want rounded caps, and I want rounded joints. Okay, so we got a nice little mustard. Good. And it will obviously go mustard color on us. All right, let's do the bun. I'm just looking for the right points that I want. We can totally drop those down, by the way. Good. I'm going to say right there, let's do that one. say right there and then finish it right there okay drag that out Shift C. Let's come up to the top. I don't know if you guys can see that one. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go right here. If any point you're going hey or if you're speeding ahead or anything like that, as long as it gets pretty close to the what you're looking for, then no biggie. So all I'm looking for is keep in mind like this whole line is gonna get is gonna go behind the, the actual hot dog. But I do want parts of the bun kind of peeking out from time to time. Some of you guys can see where that top handle is, right up here. Looks good. While I am looking at them, I'm just gonna do them not right now. Just the armpit armpit grease. Okay, we can shove those over here. Okay, feet and we're done. What? What? Life is too easy. Life is too easy. Now there's going to be one hiding up here. Shift C. Okay. 
Okay, I'm okay with that. Let's go one, two, three. And yes, there's a whole lot happening in the shoes. So we'll go through it. That's just going to be back thigh. Done. Okay. Uh, so basically what we're looking at is we got kind of shoelaces, tongue, tongue under the shoe as well as socks. So that's kind of what we are looking at. So it's, that is where these, uh, all these little shapes are. So there's one part of the sock. I've got part here, part here, part here. And let's just drop that down. Let's just drag those up. Okay, good. Now I'm going to go right. So this is going to be the, the top of the foot. This is going to be the tongue. So they're basically doing like old school converse is what the look, the look is. All right, just seeing where we want to go. This is going to be top of the shoe. Shift C. Good. Let's just go all the way back with it. Now I want a pretty squared off toe. I'm just seeing what our anchor points are here. Okay, looks good. We're going to go 1-1. One, one. I'm going to skip over that one, by the way. I don't think it's going to need it. Shift C. Let's drop it down to that corner, and then that one can go into that corner. Some of this is going to get deleted, but no problem. I'm going to say let's go right here with it. Some of you guys can see that anchor point right here. Good. Uh, uh, that's going to get overlapped. This is basically like the part where you pull your shoe up. So it's kind of the back part of the shoe. All right, good. You guys saw an easy one. Nice little circle. I'm holding down shift alt, alt option. Alt option is either alt on a Windows. Option is what it is on a Mac. In case you guys are confused on what both of those are. All right, good. Here are our shoelaces. And I want basically three. One, two, three. Good. Here is going to be our laces. And I'm just using the ellipse tool. Just going to drag it out. And yes, this is muddled right now. We agree. We are both in agreement. Just kind of getting those lines down. So keep in mind, these will go white, so they'll look like laces. Um, and then when we start doing the coloring, it'll make a little bit more sense. So I did give you guys these kind of the step-by-step -step on the site as well, so you can kind of see if you ever want to go back to kind of the completed version, just so you know what you're building, or if you have that in front of you, that will assist you. 
Alright, that looks good. Now, most of that muddled stuff is going to be hidden on this one, so you're not going to have to worry about it. Good. Shift C, let's pull that one up. All right. Let's. I say. Let's go down to this one. And we might add on to it. We'll see. Drag that up. I'm back on Shift C, by the way. I'm going to go P. So notice it is that little slash. So I'm going to continue my line. I'm going to go right up here and that'll kind of finish my I guess the soul if you will. Soul of the shoe, not soul of the character. All right. Good, good, good. What? I think we guys Oh my gosh, we have two more shapes. And then the hard part's over. Oh, let's finish it up with a circle. Let's make our lives so easy. All right, do a little boogie check. See if we missed anything. I think we are good. I'm going to come into the mouth here. And this is just like, uh, just some creases coming out of the mouth. You do not necessarily have to put those in. And I might take them out. We'll never, you'll know by the, <laughs> by the look of the final. All right. Save and done and done. What? Okay. Good, good, good. Save, save, save. So, here's what we are going to do. Uh, we basically finished the inking. So, all the lines are done. That was the hard part. So, what we are going to be moving on to next is we are basically going to uh, color it. So, that will be what the second tutorial will be all about. So, you can just jump on over. And uh, I'll see you on the next tutorial. Thanks for hanging out.